Welcome to the homework for Grade 1, Module 1. This is Lesson 34. Write your name first. And here's an example. We're going to cross off to subtract. In the first ones, we have the five group drawings made for us, but we're going to have to draw our own later on. Cross off to subtract. So we start with 10, and this is subtraction. So that's how much we're going to subtract, how much we're going to cross out. We start with 10, and we're going to cross out 10. So mm, how many are left not crossed out? Zero. They're all crossed out. Here we're starting with 9. My pen is stuck. Here we're starting with 9. All right, so we're starting with 9, and we're subtracting, so we're crossing out, we're crossing out 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. There's one left. And now it says here, make a five-group drawing like those above. You have to have the drawings. It says right here, make a five-group drawing to show the subtraction. Now, you might remember from the last homework assignment, Look for the subtraction symbol first, the minus sign. Look for that first. So then that tells you how to read the number sentence. Because sometimes the difference between the two numbers is on the left, sometimes it's on the right. But if you start with the subtraction symbol first, then you're going to think, all right, this is how much I subtracted, and this is how much I had before I subtracted. And this is what's left after. So in this case, we got to figure out what picture to draw. We know we're crossing out 7, so let's draw 7 that are crossed out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And right, these are the red ones, right? And so that many are crossed out, and there's one that isn't, right? Because there's one left over. So how many did we start with? 5, 6, 7, 8. We count them all. We started with 8. And you don't need these arrows. I just, these arrows I draw, oops, there goes my eight. These arrows I draw just so that you know which number I'm talking about. So here we, have, we start with, this is another subtraction one. These are going to all be subtraction. Uh, we start with eight, because here's the subtraction symbol right there. So we start with eight, and what we don't know is how many are crossed out. And we know that there are zero left. So we're going, to, we're going to draw eight and cross them all out. One, two, three. And you have to have the picture. Five, six, seven, eight. And these are the, these would be the red ones if you have your brace, bracelet with you. If you don't, you're just drawing a picture of what you would have. There's eight. And we're going to cry, have to cross out all eight to have none left. Eight. So that's your picture. And there's your number sentence. Number five here. And here we have, there's our subtraction symbol. So we know we're going to have, this is how many are crossed out. Seven are crossed out. And we know that there are going to be zero left over afterwards. But we don't know how many we, this is what we don't know, is how many we started with. So seven are crossed out. Let's draw seven crossed out beads. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and these are all crossed out. And it says there are zero that aren't crossed out. There are zero left over after we subtract seven. So that means we had to have that's it. That's all of them. We had to start with all seven. And now here we have the subtraction symbol. We know we start with six before we subtract. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? These are. six and then we don't know how many are crossed out but we know that there's going to be one left after we're done so let's cross them all out except for one how many did we subtract how many did we cross out we crossed out five that's how you figure these out now it says make a five group drawing like this model here that's the model they're talking about is the one that picture 
that's an example for each problem and show the subtraction and you show the subtraction by crossing out so here we have nine so here's our subtraction sign look for that first that's how you read these that's so this tells you how many we have bef the number before it tells you on the left of it tells you that. that's how many we had before we subtract so let's draw that one two oops we're supposed to draw these up and down right one two three Four, one, two, three. We're start. Oh, we're supposed to start from the bottom. Sorry. We start from the bottom, right? Like in this picture, we have the five group in the bottom, so it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, four. These are shaded in. I don't know how many to cross out. That's what we don't know here but when I know there's one left afterwards so I'm going to cross out all of them except for one because there's one left uh, there how many did I cross out one two three four five six seven eight I crossed out eight 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 my pen won't write again all right eight let me erase this and fix it so that can read it. Eight. Number eight. And here we have, there's our subtraction symbol. So that tells us that we had eight before we subtract. We don't know what we're, how many to cross out, but we know there's going to be zero left when we're done. So let's start with eight. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to have zero left, which means we have to cross out all of them. How many did we cross out? We crossed out eight. And now we have to write the subtraction number sentence to match the five group drawing. Here's our five group drawing for nine. So you can see what happened here. How many did we have before we crossed anything out? We, well, all of them, right? That's one, two, three, four, five. That's five, six, seven. We started with seven, right? Before we subtracted, we had seven. How many did we subtract? How many did we cross out? All seven. And how many were left after we crossed it out? Zero. It's just like a little story looking at this picture. So here's our subtraction symbol here. How many did we have before we crossed out? That means you count all of them, right? So imagine how it was before we crossed anything out. We just had these one, two, three, four, five. We had all ten, right? How many were crossed out? One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And how many are left not crossed out? One. All right. So how many did we start with? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many are crossed out? All nine. How many are left not crossed out? Zero. And now we're looking at the same thing, but now they're up and down instead of left to right. So how many did we start with before we subtracted? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's just count them all, right? That's how many we have before we crossed them out. We had to draw them all before we crossed them out. So there were nine at first. How many are crossed out? Eight are crossed out, and there's one left, not crossed out. And then here, this is subtraction again. How many did we start with before we subtracted? That's five, six, seven, eight. How many are crossed out? All eight. And how many are left not crossed out? Zero. And now we're just filling in the missing number. And if you can visualize, it means like imagine it in your head if you can, the five groups. And But if you still need to draw them, that's okay. You can draw them. So if I have seven, and I'm going to cross, I don't know how many to cross out, but I'm going to have zero left. I have to cross out all seven. And here, be careful, there's our equal sign. That's our subtraction symbol. So if we start with seven, how many do we have to cross out? to have one left. 
almost all of them, right? Because if there's only one left, we have to cross out all except for one, which would be six. And if you draw a picture of it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if we cross out everything except for this last one here, how many did we cross out? We crossed out six. And you can draw these pictures too. That's okay if you have to draw them. In fact, it's better if you draw them. All right, so we start with eight. And how many do we cross out? I don't know, but it's almost all of them because there's only one left after we're done. So what's almost eight is seven is just one before eight. The difference between eight and seven is one. And if we start with six, how many do we have to cross out to have zero left? All six. And here we have, there's our subtraction symbol. So we're going to start with nine and we're going to have zero left. So that means we have to cross out all nine to have zero left. And once you find that subtraction symbol first, then you know you're just really looking at these two numbers to tell the story. What do we start with? How many do we cross out? And then here is how many are left. So if I'm going to have 10, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to cross out all of them. I'm going to have one left. That means I'm going to have to cross out. If you know your parts of ten, you see a ten. There's a one. The nine has to be the other part. Nine. <laughs> it might bed stop writing again. Here we go. Nine has to be the other part. And now this one here's our subtraction symbol. So that ten is what we have before we subtract. How many do we cross out to have zero left? We have to cross out all 10 to have nothing left. And if we, here's our subtraction symbol. So just to the left of it is nine. That tells us we start with nine. How many do we cross out to have one left? One, two. If you want to draw it, you can. It's going to look like if my pen will write there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six. Unbelievable. My pen won't write. There's nine. Uh, I gotta cross out all of them except for there's one gonna be left after I'm done crossing out all these. So I'm gonna leave one not crossed out and cross out everything else. And count what I crossed out. I had to cross out eight. <laughs> 